Hi, ako si Ben at sa video na ito, ituturo ko kung ano ang sequence. Ano nga ba ang sequence? Ano at para saan ang mga bahagi nito? Dahil marami ang uri ng sequence, importanteng malaman muna natin ang basic nito. How a certain ordered list of numbers become a sequence. How to properly write and read a sequence. A sequence or progression is a succession of numbers formed according to a rule. It is also a function defined on the set of positive numbers. The elements of a sequence constitute a term. The subscript determines the ordinal of the term. That is according to mathematics for grade 10 spiral addition. A sequence is infinite if its domain is the set of integers without a last term. A sequence is called finite if its domain is the set of positive integers which has a last term. In order for us to better understand the idea of a sequence, meron ako dito ang apat na example. Ang apat na examples na to are all sequences. So, ang una kong example ay 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Ang aking pangalawa is 1, 5, 9, 13, so on and so forth. The third example is 5, 7, 9, 11, so on and so forth. At ang aking pang apat ay 2, 4, 8, 16. Bakit nga ba nasabi natin ang apat na to ay sequence? It says here, di ba, ang sequence daw is a succession of numbers formed according to rule. Hindi lang basta meron kang ordered list of number that is a sequence already. Dapat, madidetermine natin na ito ay sequence kung meron itong sinusunod na rule o sinusunod na pattern. Kapag meron kang nakitang pattern dun sa numbers na meron ang sequence na yun or isang ordered list of numbers na yun, then that is a sequence. So example for number 1, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. This is a sequence for the reason that these numbers are all multiples of 3. Si 3, si 6, 9, 12, and 15 are all multiples of 3. If I would get the next number of this, I can have 18, followed by 21, 24, so on and so forth. So, for number 2, kung bakit ito naging sequence, dahil meron din itong pattern. So, from 1, naging 5. From 5, naging 9. From 9, naging 13. Ang sinusunod naman nating pattern dito is, it increases by 4. Ang bawat number ay nag increase ng 4. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. So, para makuha ko ang susunod na number sa 13, all I have to do is to add 4 to 13. So, 13 plus 4 is equal to 17. Plus 4 again, you can have 21, so on and so forth. So, for number 3, kung bakit naman naging sequence ang 5, 7, 9, 11, because it also follows a certain pattern or a certain rule. Ang rule naman natin dito, it increases by 2. Nagdadagdag tayo ng 2 sa bawat number para mahanap natin yung susunod. So, 5, 7, 9, 11. Para makuha natin ng susunod sa 11, all we have to do is simply add 2. 11 plus 2 is 13, plus 2, 15, plus 2, 17, so on and so forth. For number 4 naman, kung bakit ito ay isa ring sequence, for the reason that it follows a certain rule also. From 2, naging 4. From 4, naging 8. From 8, naging 16 naman. Ang ating sinusunod naman dito ay nagdodobol ang number na meron tayo. From 2, dinoble natin, naging 4. Nadoble ang 4, naging 8. At yung doble ng 8 ay 16. So, in order for me to get the next term, ang uh, gagawin lang natin is to simply multiply it by 2 o doblehin natin. We can have 32. Okay? So, basically, pag sinabi nating sequence, hindi lang basta listahan ng number or uh, pagkakasunod-sunod ng number, dapat meron din itong sinusunod na pattern. Okay? So, also, it says that it is also a function defined on the set of positive integers. So, if we try to write it in a function way, 
or in a functional way, f of x equals to something, then the value of x that we can have are all positive integers. Okay? So, it says also here na ang element of sequence constitute a term. So, ito yung isa sa importante yung kailangan malaman yung in sequence. Yung salitang element at yung salitang term. Yung element ay yung kasing kahalaga nun ay yung member. So, for example, number 1, I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meron tayong 5 elements dito. Okay? So, yung 5 elements na to, yung 3 is an element, 6 is an element of the sequence, 9 is an element of the sequence, 12 is an element of the sequence. Same goes with 15. At it is represented da by a term. So, ang, ang mas ginagamit natin in, in sequence ay yung salitang term. So, meaning to say, 3 is a term in the sequence. 6 also is a term of the sequence. 9 is a term of the sequence. 12 also is a term of sequence. And 15 also is a term in the sequence. So, kung bibilangin ko, ilang terms ba meron ako for number 1? Bibilangin ko lang. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. For example, number 1, I have... 5 here. terms. How about for number 2? Meron akong identified na isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat lang na terms. But it says here, so on and so forth. That means to say, there are more numbers to follow in this. Okay, so sa so number 3 ay ganoon din. 5, 7, 9, 11 ang mga terms na identified. Pero dahil meron ditong, meron ditong symbol na ellipsis that tells us na meron pa ditong susunod. Okay, so for number 4 naman, I have here 2, 4, 8, 16. That tells me I have here four terms. Okay. In sequence, we can denote the term such as A sub N. Yung A sub N yung ginagamit natin sa sequence. This N is a subscript that determines the ordinal of the term. That tells us yung subscript na N na to o yung maliit dito sa A, sinasabi nito kung pang ilang term specifically yung isang value or yung isang um, element. Okay? Let's have here the first example. I have a sequence, we have a sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, nilakihan lang natin siya, binigyan natin ng spacing dito para mas makita. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Again, ilang terms meron tayo dito? Meron tayong limang term. So, isang term, isang term, isang term, isa, isa, meron tayong lima. Okay, paano ba natin pinapangalanan yung term at paano rin natin nilalagyan ng label ang bawat term? So, alam natin na meron tayong limang term that says that the first term is 3. Ang unang term natin sa sequence na ito ay 3. Paano natin malaman na ito ay first? Dahil ito ay ang nauuna na element dito sa sequence na ito. That makes it the first term. So, if we try to write it in a mathematical way, we have here A sub 1. So, yung subscript na meron tayo, yung 1 na yan, this is the indication kung pang ilan yung 3. Dahil ang 3 ay una, first, we have here 1. Okay? The second term is 6. If we try to write it in a mathematical way, we have A sub 2. Bakit nga ulit naging A sub 2? It's for the reason na ang 6 ay ang pangalawang element o pangalawang term na meron tayo sa sequence na ito. Okay? The third term is obviously 9. And if we try to write it mathematically, we can have A sub 3. So ano naman ang 12? Pag binilang natin dito, ang 12 ay ang una, pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat. That means to say, 12 is the fourth term. Okay, how to write it mathematically? Ganun lang din. Dahil ito ay pangapat, papalitan lang natin ng subscript ng 4. That makes it a sub 4. 15 here ay ang ating panglima. That makes it the fifth term or a sub 5. Our second example, 
is a sequence that has um, terms such as 1, 5, 9, 13. The first term is 1. If we try to write it, write it we can have e sub 1 plus 1. Ano naman ang second term? The second term is 5. Ang pangalawang term na meron tayo sa sequence na ito ay 5. If we try to write it mathematically, we can have a sub 2 equals 5. The third term is obviously 9. Ang pangatlong term sa ating sequence ay 9. Kung isusulat natin to sa ating paraan na a sub n, we can have a sub 3 equals to 9. The fourth term is 13. If we try to write it, we can have a sub 4 equals to 13. Okay? Let's have the next example. Okay, I'd like you to um, answer it on your own. Pwede nyo say it out loud kung may kasama kayo dyan na parent nyo o kayo. Uh, pwede nyo itry ito. Okay? So, in the example number 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, so on and so forth are uh, the elements we have or the terms we have for this sequence. Identify natin what is the first term. Okay, sagot. Okay, the first term is, wala akong kausap, pero feeling ko kausap ko kayo. The first term is 5. You say 5 or if you think it's 5, then that is correct. Very good. Okay, how to write it naman in a mathematical manner? We can have as a sub 1 equals to 5. Dahil nga ito ay pang una, ang ating subscript para sa a ay 1. So, a sub 1 equals to 5. How about the second term? What is the second term? Okay, second term natin ay 7. If you answered 7, then very good. You got the correct answer. How to write it mathematically? Pwede nyo isulat sa inyong notebook or pwede kayong mag-comment dun sa comment section. Okay, a sub 2 is equal to 7. The third term is 9. We try to write it, we can have a sub 3 equals to 9. How about the fourth term? Ano ang pang-apat na term natin sa sequence na ito? Ito ang una, 5. Ito ang una. Ito ang pangalawa. Ito ang pangatlo. Then, ang ating pang-apat ay ito. So, the fourth term here is... Excuse me. 11. Okay? So, if we try to write it mathematical manner, we can have a sub 4 equals to 11. Okay? So, kung nakuha nyo ang tamang sagot dito, very good. Pwede nyo ipagyabang. Pwede nyo pagyabang dyan sa comment section nyo na natama nyo ang number 3. Pero hindi pa yan. Natatapos. I can have... Uh, let me answer number 4. Let us have number 4. Um, for number 4, we have a sequence such as 2, 4, 8, 16, so on and so forth. Um, the first term is, answer, 2. Okay? If we try to write it in a mathematical manner, we can have a sub 1 equals to 2. Okay? Right? If you got it correctly, very good. Okay, the second term is 4. If we try to write it, we have a sub 2 equals 4. How about the third term? Papaano na natin ulit malalaman kung ito ay pang third term? So, bibilangan lang natin. Ito ang una, ito ang pangalawa, at ang ating pangatlo ay 8. So, the third term here is 8. Correct. Okay? So, if we try to write it, we can simply have the a, yung subscript natin, dahil ito ay third, we can have a sub 3. Ano ang ating a sub 3? 8. So, we can have a sub 3 equals 8. How about the fourth term? What is the fourth term? Ang ating fourth term in this sequence ay 16. So, if we try to write it, we can have a sub 4 equals to 16. So, kung alam mo na kung natama mo to, na perfect mo to, then alam mo na kung paano magsulat at paano mag-identify ng terms ng isang sequence. Kasi napansin ko for how many years in teaching um, grade 10, specifically itong sequence, 
Um, isa ito sa pinakamahirap pag hindi mo naintindihan. Because yung mga susunod na lessons, kung hindi mo alam ko paano mag-identify ng term, then definitely hindi mo masasagot yung mga susunod pa. Okay? So, kung marunong ka na mag-identify, then that is very good. Meron ka ng edge. Okay. Um, for the examples we have, ang um, examples 2 and 3 are what we call infinite sequences. At yung examples 1 and 4 naman are called finite sequences. Ano nga ulit ang definition ng infinite sequence? So, pag sinabing infinite, the integers, um, if its domain is a set of integers without the last term, so meaning to say, kung ang um, sequence natin ay katulad ng 2 and 3 na merong ellipses dito, this is the indication na ang sequence nito ay walang hanggan from the word infinite, di ba? Yung infinity, na kung naalala niyo yung infinity symbol, di ba pag sabi natin infinity symbol, walang hanggan, walang katapusan. So that means to say, itong ellipses na meron tayo, yung examples 2 and 3 are just example of infinite sequences. Kasi walang katapusan pa yung sequence na ito, walang katapusan yung terms na meron tayo sa sequence na ito. Okay? So, kung bakit naman naging finite ang examples 1 and 4, for the simple reason na sila ay bounded. Bounded in a way na identified mo kaagad kung ano ang panghuling, panghuling term na meron tayo. Ang huling term na meron tayo ay 15. So, meron tayong 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Meron tayong limang term. Ang finite sequence ay countable. Nabibilang natin ilang terms ang meron tayo sa sequence niya. So, ayan. Ganun din ang number 4. Sa so, number 4, tiyak natin. Meron lang tayo ditong apat na terms. That makes it a finite sequence. Nabibilang at tiyak kung ano ang ating last term. Okay? So, let's try this. Identify natin kung if you have learned something. Determine whether the following set of numbers is a sequence or not. If sequence, identify whether it is a finite or infinite. So, recap tayo. Masasabi natin na ang isang set of um, numbers or set of ordered list of numbers ay sequence kung meron tayong sinusunod na pattern or sinusunod na rule. Okay. For number 1, meron tayong 15, 12, 9, so on and so forth. For example number 2, or given number 2, we have 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. For number 3, given number 3, we have 8, 15, 22, and 30. Okay. And let you think of this. Okay, let's try. Ang number 1, ang ating ang ating set of ordered list of numbers or ordered list of numbers ay 15, 12, 9 so on and so forth so as, we, as I can see here pwede ko nang sabihin kung na ito ay infinite ma'am, meron po itong ellipses that makes it an infinite but we are not yet sure kung ito ba ay sequence okay so 15, 12, 9 meron ba siyang pattern na sinusunod? yes Okay? Yung 15, 12, 9, kung nakikita nyo, decreasing siya. Paba yung numbers na meron tayo. So, pwedeng nagbabawas tayo ng number dito. So, ano ba yung pwedeng mabawas sa ating numbers? From 15, naging 12. That means to say, nagbawas tayo ng 3. From 12, naging 9. That means to say, nagbawas tayo ng 3. That means to say, for number 1, ang ating pattern ay it decreases by 3. So, ang 15, 12, 9 ay isang uri ng sequence na infinite. Na ang ating sinusunod na pattern ay decreases by 3. How about number 2? Ang number 2 ay 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. Kung napapansin nyo yung pattern natin, pata pataas. Okay? So, meron nga bang pattern? Okay. Ang alam lang natin, pataas yung number. Pero meron nga bang pattern. Okay, so 1, 3. Yung 1, 3, pwedeng nag-add tayo ng dalawa. Okay? O kaya naman, from 1, naging 3, nag-multiply tayo ng 3. Okay? Para naman kayo yung susunod? Yung 6 naman, from 3 to 6, 
pwedeng nag-add ka rin ng 3. Or nag-multiply ka ng 2. So, parang ma'am, wala naman po atang sinusunod na pattern dito. Actually, meron tayong sinusunod na pattern dito. Ang number 2 is actually an example of a sequence. So, kung papaano, yung pattern natin, from 1, nag-add tayo ng 2. Kaya naging 3. So, nag from 3, nag-add naman tayo ng 3. That makes it 6. From adding 3, nag-add tayo ng 4. Nag-add tayo ng 5. So, ang ginawa natin sa bawat term na meron tayo, nag-add muna tayo ng 2. Then, nag-add tayo ng 3. Nag-add tayo ng 4. Nag-add tayo ng 5. So, check natin kung, to kung totoo yun. 1 plus 2. We have here 3. Nag-add tayo ng 3. So, 3 plus 3 is 6. Yung 6, nag-add tayo ng 4. Kaya naging 10. At from 10, nag-add naman tayo ng 5. That makes it 15. So, kung gusto kong kumakuha ang mga susunod pa, ang gagawin ko lang, mag-add ako ng 6, mag-add ako ng 7, so on and so forth. So, meron pa rin siyang pattern na sinusunod. So, medyo tricky nga lang, hindi lang siya katulad ng parang consistent, constant yung ina-add natin. Okay? So, dito, meron ka ina-add, pero meron pa rin siyang um, pattern na sinusunod. Okay, for number 3, we have 8, 15, 22, and 30. So, kung meron tayo ditong ellipses, pwedeng ito ay infinite. But we're not sure yet if this is a sequence. So, try natin. From 8, naging 15. Naging 22, naging 30. So, pataas din yung um, behavior ng ating sequence. Para maging 15, ito, maybe we have added 7. So, 8 plus 7 is 15. So, try natin kung mag-add tayo ng 7. Same. 15 plus 7 gives us 22. Tingnan natin kung mag-add tayo ng 7. 22 plus 7 is 29. So, dito ang binigay natin ay 30. That makes it a not a sequence. So, sequence, infinite sequence, sequence, which is a finite sequence. And for number 3, we actually have a non-sequence or not a sequence. That's all. Um, kung sa tingin mo ay uh, ready ka na, I think pwede mo nang sagutan yung modules na meron na provide ang um, inyong eskwelahan. Okay, so meron akong susunod na video dito. This is the continuation of the introduction of sequence. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.